what we do here is go back, 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 back. Hi everyone, I'm Kieran Barber, and this is Tom aka Tommy Puppet. Today we're going to go through some um, clipper maintenance. With what we're going to be using, Andis Cool Care Plus Spray and Andis Clip Oils. Clip oil. Please give us a like, subscribe, follow, comment if you do it a bit differently. Let us know what you all think. Thank you. What's up guys, today I'm going to show you how to clean the Slimline Pro LIs. In my opinion, they're one of the best mini trimmers. They're cordless, they're cut the sharpest, they're the best I've ever used. And the, I use these a lot, every day. And what I do, as you can see, they're a bit dirty. So I just get my little Andis brush, get in all the cracks, get all the hair out off the side of the blade and top of the blade. All, this is probably just a bit of OCD as well, but going around all of it just to make sure it's nice and clean. Then I'll get my clipper oil and go down this side, two in the top, and then one down the side again. As you can see here, it's fully charged, I haven't charged it all day. And then I'll give that a nice little wipe over with a brush to make sure that oil is all off. And then to make sure every bit of hair is out, I spray a bit of Cool Care Plus in the blade. Give it a shake. And then one more wipe over. And then they're good to use. Right guys, first thing we're going to start cleaning. I'm going to clean my US Pros. They are the clippers I use day in, day out, every day. It's my clipper what I've had for a year and a half. I haven't had to change them because I do look after them. Now what I use to clean it, I use my Andis um, small sort of cleaning brush as such. And what I do is I literally clean off the clippers. It's literally as simple as this. It's just getting in there, cleaning all the blades, making sure all the little hairs are out. And I do this every haircut, just to make sure they're nice and clean, nice and oiled up. So I've got all rid of all the hair, because I do a lot of skin fades as well. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the Andis Clipper Oil. And I'm literally going to go one, two, three, four, five. And then, if you can see the results afterwards, you might get the odd hair just pop out the sides where the oil has just gone into it. So, if you just remember to just pull them off, and as you can see, they work quite perfect. Brand new. So, guys, as you can see, um, the, this is my Andis sort of cutting comb, as well as slight sort of scissor over comb. This is my Andis clipper comb. Now everyone gets this in their clippers where the two the little teeth get really 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 dirty as you can see they're caked in hair. Same with this one, it just gets absolutely caked in hair when you fade it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to completely clean them off and I'll show you how to do that. Now what the hot water will do, the hot water will reduce the grease, wax build up, etc, etc, to the comb. So it comes off a little easier with hot water. Now I'm using a nail brush 
because it just gets right in there and in these cracks. So what I do after that is I'll use the barbicide disinfectant spray and I'll literally spray it just onto both cones just to clear any cross contamination off. And I'll rinse one more time just with hot water and I'll clean them all up. This is what I do at the end of every day so my cones are fresh as a daisy for the morning to come. Everyone should do this. If you don't, you're dirty. It's simple as that. And there you have it. They are my two clean cones. Ta da! Right, these are my andesite ionicas. They are my tool for fading, or like getting out of blend or anything like that, where a, a nasty little sort of zero line. I use these quite a bit. It's a detachable blade on the top, so you'll notice at the end of every day, you get hair like that, just all in the creases, everywhere really. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to get all of that out, and then oil them all up, make sure they're nice and fresh for the morning. Again, as this is a detachable blade, it comes off, so you can literally warm water, hot water even. I just burnt my fingers. Hot water just in there, all around the blade. Again, nail brush, making sure you've got all the hair off of it. As you can see on the see on the sink, there is hair coming off of it. I'm getting out. Again, one more with that, just. That one I'm going to do is barbicide again, just to disinfect it for the night. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you over through the marvelous shop. Hair dryer. Cupboard, da da, some cool care. Who doesn't have cool care in their cupboard? A little bit of tissue, just make sure it's not oily. And as you can see, again, that blade is now like brand new. Perfect. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to follow me again, camera. Tom, say hello to the camera because you know you're in the cupboard. What? So <laughs> now, fresh on. Perfect. Ready for tomorrow. Ready for a nice long hard day's work. Hopefully. Here we go. Guys, thank you for watching my videos. If anyone has any other techniques about cleaning clippers, maintenance for scissors, combs, etc. Write it in the comments below, I'm, I'm happy to hear everything. This is just my way of how I do it. It might not be the right way, it might not be the wrong way, but it's how I do it. Um, and it's cool, cool Care Plus. <laughs> really much other than that. And it's Cool Care Plus, you can um, pick up from pretty much anywhere. Um, for the, in the UK, for us, English. Barber Blades, you can pick it up from, um, so that's there. What I'll do is I'll put a link in the description below. Have a lovely rest of your week, guys. Um, this is out from me, and this is out from Tom. Thanks Thank for you. watching. Thank you for watching, guys.